Okay, in this video, I will be showing you how to get to your staple cartridge. A lot of times when you when you have this inner finisher, the staple cartridge, which I'm referring to this staple cartridge right here, usually gets stuck inside the machine when 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 you have the machine on and this staple cartridge moves in there and if that staple cartridge pops out for whatever reason it's going to get stuck so in order for you to fix that you're going to get an error code on your machine it's going to point to the inner finisher you have to remove this cover and pull that that staple cartridge back out so i'm going to be showing you how to do it uh, all you're going to need is a phillips screwdriver like this size i'm going to be using a combination of a power to make this video quicker but if you have a hand one, uh, this is all you need. I recommend a magnetic tip just to make it easier so the screws don't fall off. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to take this screw here. We're going to take this screw out and then we're also going to take this screw out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You can set that aside if you want. I'll set it right here. Now, this back screw is a little shorter than this one. So let me go ahead and put this one. This one right here is the second one I took out. It's a little shorter. It's, it's kind of got like a little washer, a built-in washer, if you will. So that one goes right here. So just remember, the short one goes in the back, okay? Now, you're just going to grab this plastic cover and just wiggle it out just like that it's kind of like a decorative cover and just set it aside i'm going to put it right here for now then we're going to do is we're going to take this screw out which you see here and now we're going to take this screw out here we're going to come here in the front and we're going to take this one that you see there take that out and then I'm going to have to grab my other one because we're going to have to take one more, which is right here. So I'm going to have to fit my screwdriver in there. Just like that. And I'm just going to manually take this one out. Let me see if I could see. Okay. So, and I'm going to set it down right there. Okay, so now that you got those four, and by the way, the four that I took out, they're all the same size. So which is right, well, here's three of them right here. The same size, okay? The only difference is going to be the one in the back that I said earlier. So you're just going to grab with both hands. You're just going to wiggle this cover out just like that. Kind of move it, kind of like pop it up with your fingers, and it will eventually come out just like that. So here's your cover, okay? Now, you got one more decorative cover here that we need to take out. So there's one screw that you, you if you see right here, there's one screw there. It's kind of like in a weird angle, so you're just going to have to put your screwdriver there and take it out just like that. And this is why I say the magnetic tip screwdriver works because it just sticks to the screwdriver, okay? So again, that's also the same size as all the other screws. And just take this out. So now that you have this, you have access to this unit right here. So most likely your, your cartridge is pushed all the way in there and the blue stapler popped out. So you're going to have to go in there, reach in there, and I'm going to pull it out right now. So when you reach in there, most likely it's going to be like this. Okay, so you're going to have to reach in there and just push into a lock and bring it out to this position leave it there and now you can put everything back now one one thing i need to point out is when you put this cover back on make sure this gray handle here is all the way to the left resting on the on far where it stops if you put it like this it, your finisher is not going to lock so make sure this is all the way back and then you're going to well Actually, I got to put that cover back on. So let me go ahead and do this here real quick for you. Go ahead and put that screw in there real quick for you. It's almost 
goes there. Okay, so there you go. So now you're going to, the reason I had you take this cover out because it makes it a lot easier to reach in there. You actually don't need to take the cover out if you don't want, but I mean, to me, it just makes it easier. So you can reach in there if you have to pop that thing back in there. But anyhow, so when you put this cover back in there, again, make sure this is all the way down and you're just gonna slide it back in there just like that. So now this is gonna be at the far end. And you're just now going to reverse the steps. You're going to put this screw back in here, this screw back in here, here, and here. You're pretty much going to reverse the steps of what you did. So hopefully this video helps you out. Good luck, guys.